Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm just reviewing one product. This mixed chick styling gel. I got it in Target. I was kind of being a PJ because most of the mixed chick stuff generally have like silicones and just stuff I don't put in my hair. So when they came up with this supposedly more natural line, I just was like, okay, what can I try? And this kind of popped out as one that wasn't too bad. It was a kind of an opportunity to just try mixed chicks for the first time. So I peed in and I grabbed this. <laughs> and I have it in my hair right now. So let me tell you about the ingredients. Let me tell you about the product. And then I'm just going to give you a little review of, of how it worked in my hair. So let's go. <laughs> so yeah, this is a close up. <laughs> it's kind of long so it's hard to get everything in there. But mixed chick styling gel. These are the ingredients. So I like that it didn't have any carbomer, but it does have PVP, which is along the lines of that kind of synthetic gel. But it also has xanthan gum in here, which is the kind of gel I like. So I was like, well, you know, there's a chance it could be good. And then it has like hops and ivy and lavender and just a lot of cool extracts at the bottom. So I thought, hey, that would be kind of nice to give it a try. In terms of the scent, it has like a perfumey scent. It's not super heavy. I could be slightly getting laundry detergent with it too. Like laundry detergent perfume. <laughs> but the scent isn't horrible. So this is the consistency. And if you can see that. It's a pretty solid goop. <laughs> As you can see and it is pretty slimy like you see all of that so I was kind of excited when I just tried it and like I think if you do your hair in small sections it will really clump your curls but it did dry pretty much similar to how it was wet so it didn't like frizz out more dry or anything so I can't say that for it It was so soft and nice when it was wet, like just the texture of the gel, I mean. I was like really hoping it wouldn't give me a cast, but it is slightly crunchy. So it's not horribly crunchy, it's not like bricks, but you know, I can feel that cast there. So I know some people like that, but that's definitely a negative for me. My hair isn't super dry, so that's good. I wouldn't even say I guess it's moisturized. I mean, I did use the... So it's kind of like a slip and slide, not proof hair glide even under it. So all it had to do was kind of not dry my hair out. And I would say that it didn't dry my hair out. So that's good. In terms of shine, definitely not much shine. My hair looks much ashier <laughs> than normal. Um, there is some definition, but there's also frizz. So some definition, some frizz, definitely ashy. I do like the volume. The shape is fine. It's not the worst gel I ever tried, but it's just not near to my age. So I got disconnected and I don't feel like setting up my lighting again. So here I am just doing the end over. So basically the last thing I was saying was that I was nervous to try it out because I was getting a lot of um, whispers of people not liking it. And I just wasn't seeing that many reviews online, which usually means to the natural hair community that people don't like it. YouTubers don't like it so I was scared to try it but it really wasn't that bad so you know I would say if I'm a target and like no other good gel is there like there's no Camille Rose there's no Uncle Funky there's no Kinky Curly there's no Jane Carter I would probably try this or at least I might you know like I don't hate it I just don't love it and I don't consider it to be one of my HGs so <laughs> yeah this is uh, an interesting video let's put it that way but you know, it's all in show business, right? <laughs> so 
stay tuned for my next video i will see you in the next one and bye